Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Travis. I'm Casey. And uh, this is our channel where we're turning our house into a homestead. So today's project is... Finishing <laughs> the master closet ceiling. Okay. And that will also be the flooring for the storage area that we've created when we took out the stairs. So this is a very exciting project because it has been like this for two years and I'm very excited to be moving forward with the master closet project. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. We're going to be taking up the flooring here. The It's basically just OSB um, flooring and we're going to make our own tongue and groove planks, which is what the subfloor of the upstairs is in the old part of the house. So we're going to turn some 2x10s into tongue and groove 2x10s and cut them to the right length, hopefully fit everything together and uh, make a new floor. And a new ceiling. A new ceiling. Yeah. Both. And then we've got some plywood to put down on top of that. And then we'll figure out what we want to do. We could put new padding down for carpet and put new carpet in the closet area or we could just... Um, we could get a remnant of something, linoleum yeah. or something, and put that down. We haven't decided exactly what we want to do because it's just a storage area. We are going to be putting a door up so it won't show. Um, so at that point, we'll decide, you know, flooring is probably not anything to worry about too much. But yep, getting it done. So one of us is going to have to be downstairs pushing up on the OSB. And then the other person, okay. you're gonna you're gonna push up. I'm gonna push up. Okay. You're gonna, you're and then wrangle. I'll be up here, and I'll grab the OSB and try to wrangle it and make sure it doesn't fall, because the minute it comes up, there's gonna be a big hole in the floor. So, so you might be able to like, pull it up and then slide it out. Well, with the, with the cabinet gone. There's a lip on either side, so okay. it's resting on that lip. Yeah. This lip is bigger on this side. Okay. So what I'm thinking is when I lift it up, I will just rest it on this lip and then have you come up and help me. Okay. So I'll, have, I'll just hold it and wait for you to come up unless I feel pretty confident that when I'm pulling, it's not going to fall off. But I really, I mean, if even if I can get it a few inches onto this part, mm -hmm. then it shouldn't, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay. But, right. but yeah, that's what we're going to do. So let's go get situated. Excellent. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Okay. All right. Here goes attempt number one of getting this back one lifted up. to come up and stand on the wall or um, what do you want me to do? I'm not sure at the moment. I think I can just get this turned a little sideways. You want some gloves? Yeah. Let me go grab, grab your gloves. Okay. Airmail. <laughs> Your gloves, sir. <laughs> Can they see you? I don't know. Oh, yep. Can you see me? You look like that old drawing of the the guy with his nose over the fence, and you know you see his fingers and his, uh -huh. and his nose. I know. All right. Now what? Now the big one. Then you want me on this side. Yep. Right? You're gonna push, push it up, up on the side that's closest to the bed. Uh, but hang on. I want to see if I can kind of shimmy it this way. Yeah, I just don't want to step in the closet. That should be far enough. Okay. Ooh, 
I know, graceful. Okay. Are you ready? I think we're ready. Okay. Okay. So we're definitely catching on that drywall. Yep, we're definitely catching on the drywall. Can we skim off like an inch? I mean, I don't know how much clearance we need. Not a whole heck of a lot, but I remember when we put it in and bit of a bear getting it in. Yeah. Um, we, need to cut the, we, uh, bleh, we either need to cut the drywall or we need to cut the board. Well, I just hate to cut a board like down the middle. Well, we don't need to cut it down the middle, but we would have, would have to cut some of it off. And the little amount that we would need to cut off, we would have to cut off more than that. So I'm thinking... Go ahead and lift it up again one more time. Yep. Gently, obviously, you know it's gonna stop. I'm just, I'm taking a look at where it's hitting. It's pretty much all along. Um, and it's already as far towards the spare bedroom as we can get. Yeah, so. well, plus I'm afraid if we cut the drywall, we might end up cutting screws. Because if there's screws at the bottom of the drywall. I don't know where they are. Yeah, but it's still going to be easier to cut the drywall than it is cut the board. So you already, like the multi-tool or you want to? Yeah, uh, the multi-tool is in the breezeway. Okay. 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 What we're going to do here is cut away some of the drywall on the right hand side over there. Yes, where my lovely assistant is pointing. And that way the board, which is a little bit too wide, will clear and we can lift it up. So this oh, is gonna be- Like a half inch, inch? Yeah, like not very much. And I'm not even thinking of cutting off flat, but maybe just angle it. Oh. And then we can cut it off later once we, cause we're gonna have to cut it off or put trim baseboard up around the edge anyway. Yeah. So. So we'll see. Let's do it. And this will be our clown music. I'm at the edge. <laughs> That's also one way we could make it bend. Just have me stand on the middle while you lift. A little tidbit about projects we do around here. Nothing ever works on the first try. Ever. Does it? Rarely. Never. So, that was take one. Now we'll try take two. Now on to the real take two. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Aww. Try sliding it towards the like just kind of push it towards the back wall. <laughs> it's funny you think that I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I can't. It's already back as far as it'll go. This is ridiculously heavy. Right. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not asking you to do anything more than get it past the drywall. Go ahead and lift it up again. Let me see where it's catching. Oh, okay, keep going, do it again. Okay, it's catching on the one spot I missed. Okay. 
safety glasses. So close yet so far away. Do I push up again? That there's a middle section right in the smack in the middle that is really hitting on. The other one's in my build, this sweeping path. But that one's about to pretty. Okay, we'll just come up and take another inch off. All right, here we go with take, are we on take three or take four? Take four? Take four. I don't know. If we got that wrong, let us know in the comments. Oh, oh, oh. You got it? I got it. Okay. Don't drop it on my hands. Uh, it's not going anywhere. Woohoo! Keep going. Well, I'd say it's time to go make some tongue and groove boards. To my super high tech setup of my router tab table, um, I currently have it. Uh, screwed to a board which is which is then clamped to my uh, table saw table so I am arrived aha I found them Safety glasses. Ah, power. Yeah, that one. All right, you wanna switch me back? This can go right there. And then if you want, you can even plug the miter saw into it. You can. Oh, let's turn the camera. So 
So, that. Do a little guesstimating here at first. It's going to be too far. like that. It's not going to work like that. Almost like I want two fences. I want one. And if I could bring that. I wonder if I have a piece of plywood that I could set in between something like this where if I set it in between I don't that's not enough have to be thinner than that I thought we had a dado blade for the oh is that what I did for the table saw well the dado blade would be good at doing the the groove the groove and then I thought well the dado blade could be fine for doing the tongue too yeah. Um, yeah, I have a dado blade. It'd be better that than resetting the router table every time. Right, well you would have to just go through and do all your grooves and then reset it. Right, and we don't want to do that. The idea is not to have to, like, we don't want to do all of our boards at once. Right. Okay, so after messing with this, we went ahead and put the dado blade on the table saw. That was all sorts of fun. Um, and decided that we're gonna use the table saw to do the groove side, and then we'll use the router to do the tongue side. Um, so I think we're at a point where we can start measuring the depth of the, uh, the depth of the groove with the table saw. So we're gonna get that running and see what it does right now. Sorry about that guys, we had a little bit of technical difficulties. Um, my phone died, so uh, we had to go get Casey's phone and um, we've got the groove, I think, set. It's half inch deep, a little over a half inch wide. And so now we're gonna work on getting this, the router set up for the tongue. And uh, I'm just trying to think through all of the different things. So I'm gonna run this through a couple times and see kind of what we're, dealing with and uh, go from there. If you did it on a different piece of wood, then you could put the two tongue and groove together when you're all done with it. You are absolutely right. A different piece of wood. Under. Different piece of wood.
don't, you don't sharpen them. Mm -hmm. I don't sharpen them. But it's taking off a lot of wood at once. Um, more than it probably should, I think. But I'm not sure. Certainly not an ideal. No, I'm wondering you, if. You see that? Yeah. That's. It would be better just to do. I mean, it would work, but. Yeah. The groove, I guess, maybe do the groove on the router and do the dado on the tongue. I don't know. I don't know. Neither one of them was ideal. Well, that looks a lot better than that. So, I remember what I did. I remember what I did and it was ingenious. Yay. I'm so smart. I just can't remember anything. Now, I know I saved my smartness, but where is it? What is it and what does it look like? It is a piece of wood. As long as my uh, fence on my table saw and what I did, I don't know if you guys can see the table saw right now. Uh, yeah, not really. Let's go ahead and bring him down and I'll show you. Okay. Recording? Yep. Okay. So when you do the groove, put your table, your board up and you're running it over the dado blade. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you do the tongue, I had a piece of wood that I screwed or bolted I think I screwed it on here to the fence, which kept my board away from the fence so that when I ran it through, it ran through the whole, the whole tongue. Okay. Now I just gotta find that board. Okay.
So the tongue's a little long, which basically means we're cutting too far. We need this to be a little thicker because okay. it needs yeah. to be a little farther away. Because yep. you guys can see here. Mm -hmm. So this piece of wood, while perfectly sized, is not thick enough. that. So. That looks good. Okay. Okay. So we'll run the groove. We'll take this off or we'll run the tongue. We'll take this off. We'll run the groove. Okay. Then on our next board, we'll run the groove put that back on, run the tongue. And if we feel confident that things are going well after the first couple boards, we may do a few boards and, um, and just do all of the tongues and then all of the grooves. Okay. So we don't have to keep swapping that thing. But okay. for now, we're ready for our first board. All right, that's where we're gonna leave it for this part of the video. Um, we are going to continue on doing this and put out future videos, so stay tuned and we will keep bringing them to you. If you like this, just please uh, click the like button and subscribe. Thanks everybody. Have a good one.